As the urban gardening movement continues to grow, there are, many are unaware of some of the potential problems uh, hidden under city soil. Yeah, it's something to think about. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Southfield this morning to show us what we need to know to stay safe. Matthew? Hey, we're talking about sustainable, affordable food. It's easy to see why people like the idea, the concept of urban gardening and people advocate for it. But if you are jumping into this, it's important to know what's in the soil it could be dangerous and it could harm the food that you're actually growing. And it's why you need to make sure that you take the proper steps before you try to get involved with an urban garden. As water flows over the gardens at the Michigan Urban Farming Initiative, you get the idea of how important the work here is. In a matter of weeks, the urban garden goes from this to this. And they've grown more than 50,000 pounds of produce in a little over half a decade. This is as more and more folks start their own urban gardens. We're glad to see it spread, but we do also know that Detroit's sort of always been um, an urban ag space. As BJ Franovich explains, growing is important, but there's questions to be asked, specifically about the dirt. And as a study by John Hopkins shows, most people don't know there are potential dangers in our soil. Look no further than Collins Park here in Detroit. Dug up now, high levels of lead were discovered in the ground when playground equipment was growing in. That's why everyone from the EPA to urban gardening experts say testing your soil is important. Basically, you should get it tested. Um, that's the easiest way to figure everything out, and it's just a good caution to have. Um, if you have a land plot that was priorly industrial, you should kind of expect some some problems and some complica complications occurring with that. Um, but if it was residential, you'll probably be more towards the safe side, but either way, you should definitely just get that tested and figure out. You know, and actually getting a test in your backyard isn't that hard. You know, it, all it takes is a pipe that's about an inch long. You can get the dirt after you pound it into the ground pretty easily by just using a wooden dowel. Coming up at 645, we're going to give you a better idea of how you actually get that soil sample and where you can send it off to to make sure you don't have stuff that's in your dirt. You hear about stuff like lead, you think about the Flint water crisis, you don't want to bring that into your home any more easily than you already can. So we'll help you and walk you right through it at 645. And again, we'll post a link to it at WXYZ.com so you can figure out how to do this for yourself, keep you and your family safe. For now, we're live in Southfield. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Things you don't necessarily think about, you know, when you're gardening. So. Yeah, you get out there and you get going yeah. when the weather warms up, not realizing what you may be bringing into your house. Thank